What is going on, guys? It's Gospel Gaming here. We are back on Danganronpa. Goodbye, despair. We're gonna head our way over to the uh, over to the hospital. Um, that is the very last. As far as more, it's the very last thing that I need to go to. And it should be the uh, the hotel. At uh, the hotel, the class trial I meant. Titty Typhoon. I still love that name. Best name. So. My suspicion is that it might have been Sonya, or it might have been someone working on behalf of Sonya, which then does mean that Kazuichi is the prime suspect. Um, just simply because he was absolutely smitten with her. Okay, so we've gone here. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with it. Hey Hachime, there's something I wanted to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why do you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right. Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household function. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hachime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video on the surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like the, there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were using a candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the uh, from the ceiling. Beneath that, there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know there must have been a buki. She walked straight to the step ladder and, without any hesitation, she climbed that step ladder of her own free will. And then she grabbed the rope and. That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out for something because the screen went dark all of a sudden. It wasn't displaying anything anymore. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared function, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Oh, hold on. At the time you said you didn't know the person wearing the handbag was Ibuki, right? Yeah. Didn't know it was her, but you saw that she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over the music venue to try and stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey. Still, she climbed the step ladder on her own. Does that mean that she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean that she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? Mm. There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the step ladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure out that so easily. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. I'm heading over there. <laughs> Where the heck she ran away all of a sudden? I said the conference room, but why don't she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking it, but did she seem a little upset? Surveillance monitor video has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright, speak to you then. Hey, you prepare that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything, it's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this all from that shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweeted a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Man. No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed in the hospital camera can only be viewed in the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed in the music venue camera can only be seen on the music, music venue monitor. Hey. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it would be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. Modify them and increase the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right. You did work on that. Hmm, okay. Let's go and meet her in the conference room. Hmm, hi, can't I? Now then. I'm finally able to get back to my normal self. Hajime, right. help me out with the recovery. You can touch my boobs if you will. Uh, yes, please. Oh, no thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey. 
I mean, they've been sick of her, so I had no idea, but hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan on wearing hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. So they have one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah, yeah that's right. Maybe we could die wearing one, so the only ones left is the one Nagito was wearing. If I had no choice, then I should use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so it would probably fit into it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? You said I shouldn't wear the one I already wore? That's gross! Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. Like... Now time Diddy died, I totally left me can the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Hmm. Okay, let's go up the stairs. I still have a feeling that something should be in there, because that's like... I don't know, that just looks weird to me. Oh, what? Oh, she's dead. That's fine. Poor Monomi. Looks like I keep on doing that. Conference room, okay. What's this? It's pitch black, I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki, are you here? Who turn the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What's fully hey. exposed? Hey, Hajime. You poke out if you poke out your eyes, you can turn the light on. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aww. Aw, bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that I heard the dry sound of curtain being drawn. There's a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I screwed my eyes until I stared adjusting to the light. Okay. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See a black curtain that blocks light and it's also long enough to reach the floor, it's perfect. A black light blocking curtain? That's why it's so dark. So is something wrong with that? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? A bit about being embarrassing or looking troll fail. Nope. Nice one to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Oh, okay. That seemed really quick this time. Hello! How's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Asa class trial's gonna start, you know! So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP! <laughs> I'll see you soon! Okay. It's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now it's not time to be a coward. There's a reason Ibuki and Hiyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Okay, so I'm actually going to end the episode here. Um, the main reason being is that unfortunately I have to end the um, I have to end this recording session in like 10 minutes, and that's not enough to be able to go through the class trial. So I'm going to have to end the episode here and resume the game on the next episode. So unfortunately it is a shorter episode today, which is thankful for many of you who don't like my voice acting, who I can't blame for not liking my voice acting. But I'm gonna leave this here. Don't forget that if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you wanna see more like this, then do subscribe to my channel, as I upload every single day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.